Hello and good afternoon. Our team at Healthy Minds Consulting appreciates the opportunity to review the communications of the Counseling Center. We understand the significance and appreciate the work that your department does. As a former University of West Georgia student, I have seen firsthand the campus-wide impact of the Counseling Center. Our team would like to help bring your department's efficiency and communications to the next level. After careful analysis, we have developed several recommendations to further improve your department's communications and efficiency. Before we share, we would like to take the chance to introduce ourselves and our company. In this presentation, we will cover the company background of Healthy Minds Consulting, factors and effects of both internal and external communications, as well as our developed recommendations. First, I would like to introduce Ms. Kaylee Watley, our Communications Director. She has a Bachelor of Science in Mass Communications and has spent four years with our team at Healthy Minds Consulting. Now, I would like to introduce Kira Kalaski, our Marketing Director. She has a Bachelor of Science in Marketing and has spent five years with Healthy Minds Consulting. Now, I'd like to introduce Jamiria Graham, our Director of Business Development. She has a Bachelor of Arts in Business Management and has been with our company for four years. The next team member I would like to introduce is Rosemary Jones, our Recommendation Specialist. She has a Bachelor of Arts in Business Management and has worked with us at Healthy Minds Consulting for four years. Finally, I would like to take the chance to formally introduce myself. My name is Emma Roberts and I am the Social Marketing Director here at Healthy Minds Consulting. I have a Bachelor of Business Administration in Marketing and have spent the last five years working at Healthy Minds Consulting. And now I will hand the presentation over to Jamiria Graham, one of our co-owners who will talk more about our company background. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. So I would like to just start off with a general question. And I'm just wondering if you guys have ever evaluated yourself as a communicator or if you guys have ever evaluated yourself as a listener in general. Um, I say that to say because we never realize the importance of communication, guys. We never realize the importance of effective communication until we feel like we are not being listened to, until we feel like we are being overlooked, until we feel like we are being misunderstood. Um, so here at Healthy Minds Consulting, we are committed to providing healthy and effective communication techniques. Okay, so ultimately this all started out with five students and a general conversation. We came to the conclusion that our institution suffered from ineffective communication in all departments. Ultimately, we decided to become a consulting firm in hopes of making communication a breeze internally and externally for major corporations. Um, I would like to describe our team as a very well-versed team. We all come from different backgrounds. We have all been through different things. We have experienced different traumas. Um, but I would like to say that we are experts in communication and effective business practices. Our expertise allows us to service many different industries. Our company stands behind transparency and communication. Uh, we believe if you're transparent and you provide open communication, your business will always thrive. We stand behind that. Um, Okay, so being that we are experts at communication, of course, naturally, we focus most on internally and external communications. Um, here at Healthy Minds Consulting, we utilize many forms of communications, but our favorite is emailing. Um, on a daily basis, we send out good morning messages that contain our agenda for the day. Um, those messages also reiterate our vision and mission statement. We believe it is critical to emphasize your goals so that everyone has a clear understanding of what we are working towards. Um, internally, we also have a Google Suite that allows our employees to share information. Normally, that shared information contains an article or some sort um, to help us be better consultants. We like to stay current, so we share everything industry-wide um, in our suite. We also want our team to feel free and open, allowing our team members to share their ideas, keeps positivity flowing. Um, furthermore, we meet face-to-face -face as a group once a week. In these meetings, we address questions, comments, and concerns. We want our employees to feel heard, okay? Um, Although we specialize in helping others, it is also important to make sure that our mental health is up to par. Um, these meetings allow us to unwind, make sure our mental health within the team is up to par. Um, lastly, we do send out newsletters. These newsletters contain information about our new clients, our personal accomplishments, and anything we want everyone to know within our group. Um, we do like to acknowledge our employees and project anything that they have accomplished. 
So while we may be very hands-on internally um, with technology, we prefer to be more personal with our clients. So we prefer to meet with them face-to-face. -face. Um, at least the first couple of meetings, once we get a hang of each other and a feel of the energy, we then um, shift to a different type of communication, which is better or more convenient for the actual client whether that be FaceTiming, Skyping, emailing, phone calls, whatever the case may be, whatever works best for our client is what we do. Naturally, of course, we benefit those companies that lack structure within their communications department. In conclusion, Healthy Minds Consulting is committed to making effective communication easier. We believe transparency and open communication are the foundations for seamless communication. Our team is determined to show businesses what they can become with our help. We believe the University of West Georgia will greatly benefit from our services. I'm now going to turn this presentation over to Kira, who is going to cover our statement of need. The Counseling Department at the University of West Georgia provides several valuable resources for its students. With that being said, there are areas that could use some improvement. These areas consist of hiring more employees, increasing advertisement on campus, and becoming more prominent on social media. My name is Kira Kalaski, and I have been with Healthy, Healthy Minds Consulting for five years now. We strive to improve the overall image of your organization through reaching out to more students on social media and hiring more qualified counselors to add to the existing staff. There is an undeniable increase in demand for emotional support for students all around the country, and our overall goal is to reach as many of these students as possible. Healthy Minds Consulting can undoubtedly increase the overall image of your organization. Now our communication director, Kaylee, will go more in depth concerning our internal and external communication strategies. Healthy Minds Consulting believes that it is highly important and extremely vital for any organization to have excellent communication, both internally and externally, in order to maintain a great connection with their audience. This is something to keep in mind when considering the internal and external communication of University of West Georgia's Counseling Center. My name is Kaylee Watley and I am the Communications Director for Healthy Minds Consulting. Healthy Minds Consulting strives to ensure that your communication is healthy and positive for both your organization and your audience. We have found that the Counseling Center currently externally communicates with their audience at a minimal level through three different outlets. Information is provided to students through the Counseling Center website. This is a very impersonal way of communicating, however, as an audience member clicks through everything at their own pace and it's just voluntary. It's not a forced interaction. The Counseling Center posts occasionally to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Instagram seems to be the social platform that is used most frequently as they use the story function quite a bit. With these posts, they give tips about self-care and ways to get help if need be. Various other departments on campus, such as Housing and Residence Life, follow the Counseling Center and frequently repost, share, and retweet their posts. Face-to-face -face interactions with the Counseling Center seem pretty scarce. There are occasional events on campus, but they don't seem to be what the audience is interested in, and if they're not what the audience is interested in, the audience isn't going to show up to them. However, if you do go into their office, their face-to-face -face interaction is quite excellent as they do care about their students and they want to help. The Counseling Center currently communicates internally in a variety of ways, and these ways seem to be effective for their needs. Video calls and phone calls are quite effective in this time as the employees of the Counseling Center cannot meet face-to-face -face in their office. They likely still use this method of communication, however, when they were in the office. Face-to-face -face communication was indeed used when they are able to be in the office, and these interactions occurred in meetings and in one-on-one -on -one settings. The Counseling Center uses the Google Suite to keep track of schedules, with Google Calendar, documents with Google Drive, and to communicate using Gchat and Gmail. Healthy Minds Consulting looked into the counseling departments at both Auburn University and the University of Georgia to compare their internal communication strategies to the Counseling Center at UWG. At UGA's Counseling and Psychiatric Services Department, they are likely using G Suite to communicate with their staff in this difficult time, and that is by using Google Meets to hold their meetings. In order to make these meetings more efficient, the department has separate meetings for each program so there's not very many people in each call. Auburn University's Student Counseling and Psychological Services Department is quite similar to UGA's in size. However, they prefer to use Skype or Zoom to easily hold virtual meetings with all of their staff members. They don't break it down into individual groups. These methods are highly important so there is consistent face-to-face -face communication within these departments. 
These compare to UWG in the fact that all departments are currently using some form of video conferencing to stay in touch with their employees and to be able to figure out ways to reach their audience in the best manner in this difficult time. Healthy Minds Consulting also took a look at the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of the University of West Georgia's Counseling Center in order to come up with different ways to improve their external communication with their audience. This is called a SWOT analysis. The strengths of the Counseling Center include just the pure existence of their social media accounts, the clarity of services offered, and the fact that they hold events. Their weaknesses include a lack of personal connection, whether it be through social media or at different events. You do get personal connection, of course, if you have an appointment scheduled with them, but through other ways, there's just not that connection. Another weakness is a lack of audience engagement. There just doesn't seem to be much engagement with their social media posts. And another weakness is there are just few programs dedicated to specific needs. So many students have so many different needs on campus that they need assistance for in the Counseling Center, but they just don't offer it. Opportunities for the Counseling Center to improve include posting various types of content on social media, and that can be different graphics, videos, photos, and different tips like that. And they can be through text, audio, video, anything. Another opportunity is that they could hold more events for more outreach. More people will come to more events if they have them and if they are more interesting. And the Counseling Center could post more frequently on social media. They would get that engagement that they would like if they post more on social media. Threats to the Counseling Center are students simply not following the social media accounts. I don't see very many followers on the social media accounts compared to how many students there are at the University of West Georgia. Another threat is the low number of current employees. The employee to student ratio is just so low, it's not very, it's not great. And the Counseling Center is just not that prevalent on campus. You hear more about SAC or auxiliary services and housing and residence life more than you hear about Counseling Center. Communication is highly important, more so when you're discussing something as vital as mental health. Healthy Minds Consulting wants to emphasize that without strong communication with each other and with the audience of students, faculty, and staff, the Counseling Center would not be able to have as great of an impact and influence on the University of West Georgia as they wish. Next up, we have Rosemary Jones, who will discuss the recommendations that Healthy Minds Consulting proposes. Uniting together with Healthy Minds Consulting will help you have a better body and a better mind. The unity between Healthy Minds Consulting and the University of West Georgia's Counseling Department will aid in a better promotion and increase student involvement on the university's campus. My name is Rosemary Jones and I am the Recommendation Specialist for Healthy Minds Consulting. Healthy Minds Consulting works to create strategies and recommendations so that organizations can enhance their services and participation. To overcome the negative of the University of West Georgia's Counseling Department, Healthy Minds Consulting proposes to reach out early in the school year to inform students of the resources available. Informing the student population of the Counseling Center can be done through emails and multiple social media platforms. The email will list tips of mental and physical health along with better overall well-being. The use of social media will be through posting weekly Meet the Staff posts of the staff members who work in the counseling department. This will help students feel more comfortable with, with making an appointment to see a counselor who they may have recognized through the post. Our students' preference pie chart showed 70% of students would rather see a picture before talking to someone. Both of these recommendations will greatly improve their image. In order to increase external communications with students and members, Healthy Minds Consulting recommends meeting at a more mutual and known place. This would eliminate the students' thoughts about being embarrassed to sit in an office and talk about their problems. The mutual location would create a more natural meeting for the two people. Another recommendation for increasing student involvement and interest can be accomplished by bringing in more counselors. Having more counselors on staff would give the Counseling Center more available spots for students to be able to get the help they need when they need it, eliminating the issue of having a problem and having to wait two weeks or more to get the help. 
Graph 1 shows the positive correlation between the numbers of counselors and the number of available appointments. These recommendations will specifically help the external communication between the staff and students stay open and efficient. To increase student involvement, Healthy Minds Consulting proposes that the University of West Georgia's Counseling Department should be involved in more campus events. The University of West Georgia would set up a booth and hand out encouraging messages and a promotional items with the center's logo. The pie chart shows that the Counseling Center gave out 65% or more of the promotional items they took to a collaborative event rather than, a, than at an event they held on their own and only gave out 35% of those promotional items. Larger events draw attention of more students, therefore engaging more students with the Counseling Center. Another recommendation for increasing student involvement is to incorporate a student-led organization. This organization would include students who are interested in pursuing a career in counseling or who want to promote an overall good health. These recommendations will help the counseling department have more student involvement overall. The information discussed was centered on promoting the services available to the students by the University of West Georgia's Counseling Department and having more students involved in participating in their events. It has always been there to help students get through difficult times. The staff is always helpful and they do the best they can. It's just that sometimes students forget about their resources when life gets crazy. Healthy Minds Consulting has reached and found situations with success stories that have already used these recommendations to help students be reminded of the services available to them. Healthy Minds Consulting wants this department to continue to be funded as a better resources for the University of West Georgia students and members. Next is my colleague Emma Roberts with the conclusion that Healthy Minds Consulting has put together. In conclusion, throughout this presentation, I believe the benefits of adopting our recommendations have been made clear. Your department will see vast improvement and increased involvement by enacting our simple yet effective recommendations, leading the Counseling Center to be able to serve even more students. Our team at Healthy Minds Consulting appreciates this opportunity and looks forward to working with the UWG Counseling Center now and in the future. I believe together we can make a great difference. If you have any questions regarding our proposed recommendations, please contact us by phone at 678-589-0073 or email us at info at healthyminds.com. And as always, you're welcome to visit our office at 5702 Windy Hill Road, Marietta, Georgia. Also, please help yourself to a complimentary Healthy Minds Consulting branded stress ball. Now, we would like to take the time to answer any questions. Thank you for your time and for choosing Healthy Minds Consulting. To answer your question, how can our Meet the Staff Post increase student involvement and growth? Well, we have conducted research that shows 70% of students would rather see a picture of someone before speaking with them. It gives the students a sense of comfort and familiarity. Students will see our weekly posts and become comfortable and acquainted with the faces and staff of the Counseling Center. This will lead to more appointments and more participation. Just to reiterate and solidify the points I have previously made, I want to guarantee that our recommendations will enhance the Counseling Center services. Through the monthly email sent out and the Meet the Staff post on all social media platforms will ensure the students to feel more connected to the staff. The students will feel more comfortable by knowing the people through association. Then also through our recommendations of hiring more counselors and holding meetings at a more remote locations. We can ensure that more students will be accommodated and their meetings will feel more relaxed. Lastly, the recommendations of collaborating with larger on-campus events and having a student-led organization can ensure that there is more student involvement and participation within the University of West Georgia's Counseling Department. 
All of these recommendations have been backed through personal testimony, statistics, and research in the recommendations section of our packet. Here at Healthy Minds Consulting, we want to see the counseling department succeed in the many years to come. Working with Healthy Minds Consulting would be a smart investment because we can guarantee satisfaction. We have proven this time and time again. Possible risks involved from using our recommendations are that the Counseling Center simply does not see improvement in their communication from students and fellow employees. This is okay though, because students don't always want to be involved. It is quite possible that only the students who feel like they need assistance from the Counseling Center will be the ones that continue to interact on social media and continue to attend events. However, if you are unhappy with your results, you can always come back to Healthy Minds Consulting where we will sit down with you and assess what went wrong and how it can be fixed. Healthy Minds Consulting has successfully assisted numerous organizations in improving their overall image. Our passion for the company's goals is what sets us apart from the rest.